Hey guys, welcome back to the Dress My Craft YouTube channel. Design team member Kanika Jain this side. And in this video, we shall be talking about the different ways to use non-stick craft mat from Dress My Craft and as well how you can clean it properly. But before moving forward, make sure you have subscribed to our channel and turn on the bell notification so you never miss an update from us. So let's get started. So that's how the non-stick craft mat looks like. One side is clean and the other side is dirty of my mat. So let me first show you a new craft mat and how does that look and how is the packaging of that. So this is how the non-stick craft mat from Dress My Craft comes in and this one is the thick one. They as well have the thin non-stick craft mat. So talking about the product highlights, this craft mat measures 15 inches by 18 inches and as well this is premium non-stick quality craft mat which is very easy to be cleaned which I'll be showing later in this video. It quickly wipes off the paint, glue, ink and other mediums which as well I'll be showing and giving a demonstration. This is heat resistant and has glass finished look. It is great for stamping, distressing and as well excellent to make enamel dots with glue gun. So now let's open it up and see how does this looks. So this one is the older one which I have been using since more than a year now and I got one new one just to show the packaging and all. So that's how it comes. So now I'll just remove this sticker and see how does this look. So as it was kept folded in the packaging so it has right now the curvy edges but let it settle and it will be alright. So now working on with my older one itself. So taking off my glue gun, I am just showing you the different mediums which it is compatible to work with. As it's a heat resistant non-stick craft mat, so you can work with your hot glue gun and here you can see I am just creating some random enamel dots and here what I am going to do is with my glue I am creating a random texture and I can now later when it's dried i can peel this off and use as a textured background on my mixed media projects as well and now i let it dry for about 30 to 40 seconds and then you can simply see how easily you can peel this off and so the excess you can remove it simply with the help of your pair of scissors and that's it you have your easy backgrounds and talking about the glue dots you can see how easily you can peel them off as well and as well they are quite thick and have dimension as well which you can see here and if you want to buy any of these craft supplies which i'm showing in this video you can check out the description box as well and now here i have some of the inks which majorly the card makers use like the archival ink distress ink the color philosophy ink or the distress oxide ink so let's see if this craft mat is compatible to work with this so starting off here i am just adding a swatch of archival ink now moving on to the distress ink and then here i have my distress oxide ink and that's the color philosophy ink so i have just added swatches on my non-stick craft mat and i let it dry now let's see if it's compatible to the products used by mixed media artists as well. So to start off here I have the Lindy's spray. Next here I am using a random chalk paint from my stash and adding quite a thick layer of it making sure that it stays on the non-stick craft mat. Then here I have the art basics white heavy gesso so here you can see some of the extreme cases of having products onto your non-stick craft mat so now moving on to the next product here i have the impasto paint and i am adding quite a thick layer of it as well and i will let these dry for about an hour so that they are completely dried here i have the art alchemy acrylic paint the reason I'll be leaving in for one hour is that it will make sure that it has stayed on very nicely. So now here I have this tacky glue which I am adding and here is a normal fevicol as well which I am adding onto my non-stick craft mat. So now I will let these dry completely and let it sit for an hour and then come back again. 
so for leaving about an hour this is how it looks i have simply removed the products and here i have my distress sprayer on to which i have added tap water and now i am simply misting it out and here i am taking a cotton cloth and simply wiping it off and you can see in the one go itself the mat is clean so here you can see on to the chalk paint and acrylic paint it took me little bit more time as they are little dense products so they might take a little bit of more time and it will take you more rubs to remove them clearly and this is how it looks and you can see how clean my mat looks now and this non-stick craft mat from dress my craft can easily be used with all of these products you can as well do heat embossing onto this non-stick craft mat just a disclaimer that onto your non-stick craft mat please don't use the pen knife or something which has these sharp edges or even your paper cutters these ones as they will rip off your non-stick craft mat so you don't have to use any sharp objects on your non-stick craft mat like these so this is one of the basic craft essential tool every crafter should have so grab your hands on this amazing non-stick craft mat from dress my craft see you soon until next time till then happy crafting